Well, it's time to bring in our special guest live from Hawaii. Believe it or not, Will Haskett, Kevin Sylvester, good friends, colleagues from PJ Tour Radio and Sirius XM. Uh, Kev's wearing the shades, uh, so obviously uh, enjoying himself. Guys, you've moved to Honolulu. Uh, yeah. T- tell me about the move. All, all good right now, Will? Yeah, it's, I mean, starting at Maui and then going to Honolulu, I feel like if we did it the other way around, this would feel like the best two-week Hawaiian vacation. <laughs> but when you wake up every day and you're staring at the mountains in Maui and you can walk the beach calmly, and you can go snorkel with the turtles and everything, and then you come here and, I mean, I'm on the 26th floor of a high-rise next to another high-rise next to another high-rise. It sort of feels like you're going from paradise to Miami. And there's nothing wrong with going on a vacation to Miami, but it feels a little different from Maui. But you know what? No one's going to complain. There's like three blizzards rolling through my town back yeah. home. So I'm not too worried about, uh, you know, what the weather's like out here. But I will say this. Is there any place on the PGA Tour where you stay in the same state, but the golf courses are totally different from one week to the next? I mean, it goes from Kapalua to Wailai, and, you know, by what I think the highest elevation change we'll have this week, Kev, is four feet, like the tee box at four. I think it's, I think it's the highest we have to walk up a hill the entire week is, is one tee box. Yeah, and you know me, I don't like to do hills. Uh, but uh, and Doug, the shades are on because you know I, I live in Buffalo, so I gotta yes. I gotta soak up every ray of sun here, the vitamin D that I can uh, while we got it here. Yeah, I, I agree with Will. You know, you start the year in Maui, uh, although a larger field than in the past, still a small field. So I'm more interaction with the players on pro am day. It's a little a little more chill. It's got a different little vibe to it um, at, at Kapalua, and then it seems like okay, vacation's over here. As we had the Sony Open in Hawaii, full field event here. A lot of new stories on the PGA Tour, new players uh, that are going to be on the scene. So it's kind of down to business now this week. Well, it, it's one of the best trips uh, of any broadcaster, sports announcer, uh, for to take the two weeks to Hawaii. And you guys are enjoying it. So that's, that's fantastic. Hey, hey, tell me this before we get into the specifics of this tournament. Uh, yesterday, the big announcement that Tiger... Uh, and Nike in their 27-year relationship. I mean, Will, that's that to me, I mean, I guess we knew it was coming with what had transpired in the last few months, but to think that Tiger's no longer going to wear the swoosh, I mean, Will, what the heck is going yeah. on? I mean, I guess we the smoke was there, right, at Hero. Right. Um, I guess I didn't really fully believe it there because it just sort of felt like somebody that was going to be synonymous with the brand for his entire <laughs> life. You know, I mean, he's, he's the Jordan of golf. And Michael Jordan's relationship with that company was was never going to end. Like I, Michael Jordan probably did more for Nike than Tiger did for Nike, you know, in the grand scheme of things. But at the yep. same point in time, in the golf space, there's really that's the only parallel that I can make. And so for it to end, it, it's a weird time from the apparel business standpoint. I'm not going to pretend I know the X's and O's a little bit, but <laughs> you know they've obviously been out of the equipment business for a while, and I'm not really yeah. sure where Nike views themselves as a golf fashion place, and so maybe this was the time. And at this point in time, like Tiger's definitely in, in sort of flux. Like He wants to play a little bit of golf, but he's taking this incredible leadership position on the PGA Tour, and he's guiding the tour through whatever this negotiation process is in terms of how the tour is going to look. So I think we're kind of seeing a renaissance of what the next phase of Tiger Woods is going to look like. So I wouldn't be surprised if the TW brand is just that. And he finds a way to probably create his own brand moving forward. And, and let's be honest, it, it might be the most lucrative thing for Tiger to have this switch. But I was a little stunned by it, honestly, Doug, because I just kind of felt like that's a relationship that was going to last in, for the rest of time. Like Tiger and Nike just seem synonymous to me. <laughs> I'm going to blame Michael Jordan on this. And you're going to say, like, well, why do you blame Michael Jordan? Well, why not, number right? one. Well, no, I, I think number one, when they made the deal with Jordan and saw how it exploded, they, you know, Nike made Tiger a great deal. I mean, think Tiger made, made a lot of money. And so did Nike uh, with the relationship. But it, I don't think it was the same. I don't know the details of the contract, but it wasn't the same where like, Jordan has the brand and Jordan still makes all this money from the Jordan brand. That's one part of it. The second part is, Everybody who bought Nike golf shoes in the last couple of years bought the Jordan ones, right? The low top, like Tony Finau was wearing. Yeah. So I, I think if Nike looked at it and said, well, we're selling uh, our golf stuff is the Jordan stuff uh, that we're selling. But here's the thing. Um, and I agree with Will. I think it will be a TW brand. There was rumors that Taylor made was starting a clothing, you know, apparel thing. Um, Cause I think they're separated from Adidas now. So they're going to start their own. And I think Tiger's going to be part of that, but it's going to be like, and Doug, you'll uh, relate to this. 
It was like Thurman Thomas when he was in a Miami Dolphins uniform to end his career. It just didn't look right. So it's going to take a while to get used to. Yeah, I agree with that, being a Dolphins fan. And he wasn't nearly the player he was with the Bills. Let's let's put it that way. Yeah. Um, I had to bring it up because the Bills just beat the Dolphins. That's is it, but is he going to bring the baggy pants back? Is he going to pull a Jason Day and we're going to be back to like late 90s, early 2000s baggy pants tiger with his new brand? Do you think so? No? No? It's – it's funny you brought that up because that was my next question. Um, and, of course, you guys were there for the first tournament. 59 guys, Rory didn't play. And everybody, or at least a lot of the guys, have new apparel, new equipment, whatever. And J-Day comes out. It used to be the tight shirts, show off the guns, uh, you know, the tight hat. Everything was tight on J-Day. And now it's like, uh, it was like circa 1992. I mean, what was up with the baggy pants, guys? I mean, I, it, did, and did you like the look? Um, uh, no comment. I, 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 he says he's comfortable. I'm sure he's comfortable yeah. with the check. I'm sure the check is very comfortable. I'm, yeah. I'm sure they are more comfortable as somebody who has finally been guilted. Like I liked a, a baggier sort of pant and I've been guilted over the last couple of years into getting into something a little bit more athletic and everything. I kind of feel like that's where fashion is, but look, uh, you know, all the things that I love about golf and my knowledge of it, guys, I'm not really sure where I am on the fashion forward <laughs> understanding sort of scale because golf Twitter was like so split to be like, Oh, this is exactly what all the, the kids are wearing in the streets. And then somebody's like, no, they're not. And then, I don't know. I mean, he looked, it looked, it's so different, Doug. That's the thing that was, it's like, it is the polar opposite look. And that to me is I think why it was kind of stunning. But again, it was free agency season for guys that were going to get out of deals. So you go where the money is, you wear what they tell you to wear. And you know what? If all of a sudden PGA Tour Apparel wants to make a baggier sort of look next year, and that's what we're <laughs> contracted to wear when we're on PGA Tour Radio, guess what? Kevin and I are rocking baggy pants to work this week. <laughs> Uh, who says it wasn't already? Uh, no, yeah. <laughs> to me, it wasn't so much the pants. Uh, it was more the shirt to see just that, yeah. you know, that giant. You know, I remember we used to wear those PK polos, right, that came down oh, past yeah. your elbow. And it just wasn't comfortable when it got hot. Uh, so it kind of had that look. And, yeah, you know, if I was as fit as Jason Day or Doug Bell, uh, you know, I'd, I'd want that, uh, you know, tight rip look there. But, you know, again, it's new. And it's a complete 180 from where we've been when, you know, uh, you see Eric Ben Royan and Eric Cole out there, you know, rocking the joggers and showing some ankle, you know, like the uh, early 1900s. Uh, <laughs> so no, it, I guess it it's a definitely completely different it made, thing. It made him look older. Uh, and it looked oh, like yeah. he was ready for the Champions Tour it as aged opposed him. to yeah. the last 10 years or whatever he has left on the PGA Tour. But anyway, uh, as you said, changes are in the offing. We're, we're seeing just the beginning on the PGA Tour apparel, just one of them. All right, guys, let's talk about this week. Uh, why lie? I love why lie. Uh, and you see the ocean maybe on a couple of holes, but I, I just think the golf course is terrific. And 144 players, a lot of new players from the Corn Ferry Tour, so a lot of guys we're not really familiar with will be out there. And some old familiar guys, Matt Kuchar, Webb Simpson, guys like that. Um, I kind of like the event. Will, Kev, tell me about it. I mean, you're excited to be there at why lie? I mean, I, there, there's only one place that has those uh, palm trees in the shape of a W, right? It's for me. It's for, it's for Will. Yeah. <laughs> it's what, it's what, it's what, it's what I was always told. Um, I, I, it, I love it because of the balance. I think that last week you see this big, wide-open golf course. Now, granted, most of the tee shots kind of end up going in the same sort of areas, but it's like guys can just swing you know, for the fences. Uh, it can, it's a completely different test this week. Like You don't have to be a great driver of the golf ball last week and be successful in that golf course you have to be a really good driver of the golf ball this week to be successful on this golf course with how tight the fairways are all of them are angling in some certain way now we got about two inches of rain yesterday and it may rain a little bit more today uh, a lot of times as you know doug and kevin like these fairways can get to really bouncing i mean you have to land it in the in the rough sometimes if you're going to tackle some of those dog legs in order to hold the fairway <laughs> It may be a little bit softer, which may change some things. But, you know, as someone who likes to model these things and pays attention to this from a gaming standpoint, this is one of the easiest golf courses to pick guys that do well here because it's really about finding fairways and being able to putt. So that's why you've seen Matt Kuchar be so successful here. A really good putter that hits a ton of fairways. It's a completely – last week is all about iron game and then can you figure out those big undulating sort of greens. This week, it's about can you give yourself as many opportunities to play from the fairway and then be able to really be a good putter from really that kind of like 5 to 15-foot range. I'll, I'll tell you, the first time uh, 
I saw the golf course. It was actually with you, Doug, in 2019. Uh, it was yeah. my first trip out here. And, and it come from the plantation course at Kapalua and to Wailea and um, – or something wild. I'm getting confused. With the other resort on Maui. <laughs> <laughs> but the first time I saw it, I was like, "eh." And then as the, the the tournament went on, I'm like, "man, I'm really starting to appreciate this golf course even more on how you have to place the ball, how you have to play the angles on the golf course, and then the finish, right? Uh, you know, the, the, the place the ball, how you have to play the angles on the golf course, and then the finish, right? Uh, you know, the, the dog leg left par four with uh, you know Will's initial back there pretty sure that's not why they did it will but anyhow uh <laughs> you know that iconic w palm trees and then you know the par 317 when they can get some winds off the ocean um you know whole location on that it's not an easy green uh to hit and put in position to hold and then 18 i mean we saw it with Aki matsuyama when he when he won you know with the eagle on there so anything can happen uh, on the finish of this golf course so yeah i i think it's one of the most underrated ones uh, i'll put it up there with pc southwind is perhaps the most underrated golf course on the pga tour wow mm. uh, i like that wow. a lot uh and i remember back when the video games first came out you know we were talking about the clothes going back to the 90s and while i was always one of those that you played right uh the old, the old video game yeah. with tiger um all right guys uh, i need a pick i need uh, a pick to click and your long shot pick will let's go with you first uh you said you, you have it narrowed down. You know who's going to win here. Who do, who do you like? Yeah, my problem right now is I think a Georgia Bulldog is going to win. I just can't figure out which <laughs> oh, yes. Georgia Bulldog I'm going to pick right now. Um, <laughs> given all this, like, look, it's a great field, by the way. The folks at Sony have to be thrilled. So many guys are coming from the century to this tournament. Obviously, there's been a little bit of a story, too, about how many guys that were expecting to play this tournament aren't going to get in because the field has gotten so strong at the top of it. Um, so because of that, I really think it's a huge advantage, even though they're totally different golf courses, for guys that had competitive reps last week who are making this sort of trek over. Um, so I've gone back and forth between a couple of guys. Both of them played really well last week. It's between Brian Harmon and Brendan Todd. Uh, it's a perfect golf course for Brendan Todd, a guy that puts the ball beautifully well, a guy that just hits tons and tons of fairways. Again, if it was going to be firmer and faster, I'd feel a lot more comfortable in this pick. But again, I think that the, the fairways are going to play a little bit wider. Um, that's me spinning my wheels trying to figure out which of those two guys I'm going to go with. I'm going to go with Brendan Todd. I'm going to take Brendan Todd to win this week. Uh, you got a long shot pick, though? I mean, you got some guys that are like yeah, 150, I do. 200 to 1. Who, who you got? Do not do. take Alan, mine. I told you in the car the other day, do not take mine. There's no <laughs> chance you even know. You, I, I don't even think you do this guy was okay. in the field. I'm going to go for the ultimate story of the PGA Tour DP World Tour partnership coming together. We've got five guys that made it off the DP World Tour that are starting this week on the PGA Tour. This is a guy that hits a billion fairways, putts it great, not very long. It's a perfect golf course for him. Alexander Bjork, the Swede, is my long shot this week. Wow. Now that is coming out of left field. That's coming out of the deep rough on the left side there. No. Woo. I'm just happy to hear he's going by his first name now instead of just Bjork. Love the album back in the day. <laughs> I mean, that, I, I didn't expect that. that is, we got to check the spelling and the graphic that's up for that one. All right, Kev, who do you like here, winner in the long shot? All right, I'm, I'm going to go with a winner, and I'm going to go with someone that, uh, uh, you know, I just I just love watching him, so I want him to be up there so I get to follow him in person. That's Tyrrell Hatton. Uh, you know, I just I, I just I love him. I, I think he's got a great ball-striking game. Uh, he's coming off a competitive round there, and I, I just think this is going to be a year where we're going to see Tyrrell Hatton excel on, on the PGA Tour. So I'm, I'm going to go with him with maybe – uh, you know, it's so like to see uh, the decky do something. All right, long shot, dark horse, if you want. This is a sentimental pick, Doug, and, and only because of uh, who this person is, and we all want to see him do well uh, to start his comeback player of the year uh, award, and that would be Gar uh, Gary Woodland, who is making the start after uh, the brain surgery back in the fall to remove a lesion there. I mean, uh, how do you not root for Gary Woodland? Uh, he's just a, an awesome guy. And so I'm like, yeah, I'll wait to see Gary at the golf course. <laughs> I, I should guys. point out, I should point out that both of our long shots are 110 to one. We did not plan this or script this, but you get the That's same odds shot. right now on Gary Woodland and Alexander Bjork. So before people start blaming me for my Bjork picks, he's the same odds as Gary Woodland and Joel Damon and Keith Mitchell. I mean, come on. The, the well, money, the well, sharp, yeah. the sharp guys are on Bjork right now, guys. I'm telling you right now, watch out. Well, and you guys see him. I mean, for the people watching, I mean, you guys are out there with him. So, you know, um, I kind of like Seth Thagala, played last week, uh, and he's a 25-to-1 guy. I like him as the winner. 
I think those are great odds for a guy of his talent. And what about Akshay Batia? 70 to 1, the young lefty who played well last week. You know, he lost his ball in the first hole there and it kind of sent him backwards. But all in all, and this is kind of his course. Uh, you know, and, and this, although I will say, Will, you're right, the field is it's very strong. impressive. It's very well, strong. Well, let me say this about Batia because I, I was, you know, I had the final group last week and watching him and. Yeah, I mean, losing that ball in the first tee, yeah. you know, just a Crazy. crusher, right? It took him a while to recover from that. But putting, you know, he switched to the long putter, and he just didn't seem to carry that through four rounds. He was leading the field in the strokes game putting through three rounds, but uh, that final round, it just uh, it just didn't happen for him. So I think he's still adjusting to that and maybe adjusting to that with pressure. But there's no doubt that this is a talented kid, and he's – you know, won the Barracuda last year. He's going to win more on the PGA Tour, no doubt about it. Yeah, I love it. All right, guys, are you, are you taking the, the uh, red eye home after, or are you going to go on Monday, come home on Monday? Red eye. Yeah, red, red eye, eye for sure. Yeah. Red eye. You know, I mean, there's only so many missing. days you can be away from Buffalo, Doug. you got to get back as soon as you can. <laughs> well, I'm looking at your sunglasses there. It looks like you want to stay there a while, Kev. You're looking good. I, I do. I, you know what? I, like, I mean, look, I don't want to come to You know, just look at this. You can hang out yeah. in, like, kind of a piazza here, you know, so – um, it's just it's absolutely fabulous there here. So, well, you know, my, my producer slash editor, Garrett Bell, he said, be sure and tell Will and Kevin to have a nice backdrop. Oh, yeah. So Kev, I'm, you know, well, I can, I mean, at, you can see the ocean out my window here. I mean, oh, he loves you. Man. He loves you. Okay. So. Listen, it was either that or either that or a, a row of uh, laundry machines uh, for Will. So, oh man. I think he chose yeah. wisely. It, we got a fight right now for it. We got every camera op and PGA Tour Entertainment down there right now fighting <laughs> yes. for space. Like we're at, it's hard in the it's hard in the Marriott laundromat right now. Mm. Believe me, I was making trip. sure it wasn't. I, I was timing it so it wasn't like college where you'd come down, you know, and you'd kind of forget about it. Maybe go have a few pops. You come back, you see all your laundry in a pile, you know, on the table. Like you don't yeah. want that thing. So, <laughs> Especially those PGA yeah. Tour radio polos. Those are walk. <laughs> that's right. That's right. <laughs> that's good. <laughs> yeah, be careful. All right, fellas. Um, safe travels. Have fun, have fun this week. Mahalo. Mahalo. All right. See you guys.